Hey guys, so right now I'm at Best Buy. As some of you don't know that I broke my G7X vlogging with the Vixia right now. And I'm just gonna buy a camcorder for two weeks. Well, not a camcorder, a DSLR for two weeks, and then return it. Now, the reason I'm picking up a DSLR is because, well, they don't sell the Canon G7X here. And most advanced point and shoot they have is this, which I heard the video quality is not that good. So, no thank you. Ah, yes. Nikon, no thank you. Yes, the Canon. Rebel T6 EOS 80D. No. Alright, yeah, so this one's the one I want. The T6i, because it has a pretty good sensor size, almost the same as the G7X, just a bit smaller. It has a flip-off screen, which is totally necessary. And it's almost the same price as my G7X, so that's pretty good. Looks like you got the last one in stock. Alright, cool. I'll get one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be gone in two weeks when I return it. Hopefully I don't get too attached. Alright, I'm home and I'm hungry, so let's quickly unbox this thing. The Canon EOS Rebel T6i, the last one they had in stock. Come on, really thick manual. Gotta keep everything mint so I can return it. CD? Who uses CDs anymore? Ooh, this beautiful strap. The body, the battery charger, the battery. The lens almost dropped that. Whoa, it almost slid out. The battery charger. Mmm, that's pretty large. Charge the battery right now. The lens! Beautiful. Oh my god, I touched it. Dang it, it's ruined. Oh, here's the lens cap. And the body, ooh, it's wrapped up in cloth. Yes, my first DSLR. Not even gonna keep it. Beautiful, hopefully I don't break it. Ah, yes, beautiful. This should shoot good video, almost, or better than my Canon G7X Mark II. Can't wait to use it. I'll wait until the battery's done charging to give you a quick video test. All right, I got the strap on, hopefully I did it correctly. Man, I look good. All right, the battery's charged. Here's a little test of the quality. Thanks for watching. There's gonna be probably like one, maybe two videos shot with this thing until I get my G7X Mark II back. See you guys soon. All right, it's been about a week later and my camera came back. So first of all, it cost me $269 to repair this thing. And this is what Canon said when they got the camera. The lens was severely damaged and we could not repair lens error. So we're sending you a replacement. Maybe that's why it was a bit expensive. But still cheaper than buying a brand new camera, so I just went with it. This also means that today, I'm also going to be returning that. The Canon Rebel EOS T6i. A lot of you have been asking, why would you do that? Well, it's because this G7X is super tiny, way smaller than that DSLR, and it shoots at almost the same quality as this DSLR. There are some things that I'm going to miss, which I'll discuss later, but overall, I prefer the Canon G7X Mark II. Huh, this is the same box that got my refurbished Vixia in. Oh, it's refurbished. I was hoping it was going to be new. Kind of sad about that. Limited warranty. Ooh, this is the kind of stuff that is interesting to me. It's just like a little slip telling you about what happens if you buy counterfeit products. We got another instruction manual. Now I have two. Oh, wow! They sent me... Oh, wow, this is totally worth it. They sent me another battery. And now they, I got two. This is perfect. <laughs> All right, here it is. My brand new refurbished. G7X Mark II. Ooh, it's beautiful. I would say welcome home, but this is not mine. It's a brand new refurbished model. Yeah, I missed you so much. Let's put the battery in. Let's just turn it on. Ooh. Aw, oh, crap. There's a problem, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Canon. <laughs> uh, it's kind of... Stuck a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna call them and see what they think. And what they'll do is if there's a cost, they'll email you. And you can always say no, and they'll send it back and they'll charge. 
Okay, yeah, thank you very much. So hopefully I won't have to pay for this repair also. I'm still gonna return this because the return period is almost over and I don't want to pay $700. Alright, once again using my Vixia, the camcorder that will always last no matter what I do to it. Right now we're gonna do the opposite of unboxing with some items. First, the Rebel to be returned. The thing I'll miss about this is the very fast zoom where you can just do that. Also, I miss the satisfying clank when I hit the shutter button, like, clank in DSLRs. But there were some stuff that I did not like about this camera. So first of all, if you want to play back a video, there's no scrubber at the bottom. And you know how hard it is for YouTubers who want to view their video to check to make sure that's okay? No scrubber. On the G7X, there is a scrubber. Also, I hate it when I just shoot on auto. Yes, I always shoot on auto. Yeah, I like everything auto. That the flash always pops up, even though there's enough light in the room. Like, don't want it. Don't want it. Oh well. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be returned. All right. Let's see if I can remember how this thing was packaged. All right. Done with this. Now let's repack the G7X for shipping out to repair again. All right, there. Now to Best Buy. Now we are at Best Buy. Hi, I would like to return this camera, please. It finally came! Again! I waited two weeks for the replacement to the replacement to come. I don't know why the box is much bigger this time, though. I wonder if they included something for my troubles. Let's find out. Three, two, one. Nope, they did not send me anything for my troubles. They just filled with a bunch of uh, packing material. Probably to make sure it doesn't break again. This is the repair information. It says zero dollars and the description of the problem says lens cover is sticking. Does not open fully. Yep, that's right. Dang it. All right, I'm back. Uh, no extra stuff this time. But the question is, will it fully work this time? Let me grab a battery. Three, two, one. A little bit sticky this time, but it's good enough that I probably don't have to send it in for repair again. Now, let's switch back to this camera now. Yes, there we go. We're back to my main shooter. Thank you guys for watching that long Canon roller coaster of emotions. I have a lot of settings to set up again on this camera. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you guys later. All right, this is the third time in a month I had to open a box from Canon. This time will it work? Then we're gonna waste some time. I spoke with a higher up from Canon. I got the opportunity to because I had so many problems and they said they're gonna send me a new one. So hopefully this one will work completely new. Yay, it's a brand new box. It is brand new. Ah, it's beautiful. Zoom in a little bit on the Vixia I'm still using. So fresh. Now I have three of these guides. Comes in a little bin. Oh yeah, and guess what? Now I have three batteries, three wrist straps, and three battery chargers. Three batteries. But will it work perfectly this time? Let's move all this stuff aside. Grab on the old batteries. Brand new, no fingerprints, no scratches, until now. Moment of truth, three, two, one, perfect. Set time and date. Oh yeah, another thing I don't feel like doing. On the last camera, I thought I would have to keep it, but I had to send it back. I set all the settings to the way I like it, and now I have to set all the settings again on this camera. Thank you guys for watching, finally done with that Canon experience. I hope, let's try that again. Perfect. 
and I'll see you guys later with some more videos from this camera. Thanks for watching.